Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I am in my brother's kitchen. This is my brother, Jared Taylor. He has a YouTube channel called Live True with JT. It's all about personal development. He's a life coach. So um, if you're curious, down below, I'll have a link where you can check out his channel. Um, definitely uh, recommend you go check that out. And today, we are gonna be making keto shortbread cookies. Yummy. This is a really nice, nice treat for those of you who might be on the keto diet or for those of you who are gluten-free. This is great for that as well. Really simple ingredients, very easy to make. If we can make it, you can make it. Well, let's get started. First, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So first we have a, a larger bowl here. Let's go ahead and add in our uh, dry ingredients. So we've got our almond flour, almond flour, coconut flour, and then we'll add the xylitol. And down below we'll list the uh, ingredients and the amounts, so don't worry about that. We add some salt, it's just like a pinch of sea salt. And then we'll right. start mixing that in. And once we've got that sort of mixed, we'll go ahead and add the vanilla extract. Okay, so we're gonna add now the vanilla extract. You don't need a ton of this stuff, it's pretty strong. If you've cooked with this before, you know a little bit goes a long way. Okay. So now we're gonna mix that. Okay, now we add our softened butter. Yep, we're gonna do the butter first. So we're gonna mix that in, and we wanna get a nice even consistency, then we're gonna add our egg. And it's gonna, it's gonna take a little while. I imagine you could do this in a, in a mixer, a mixer if you wanted. The great thing about these cookies is they're totally sugar-free and they're low carb. They are uh, um, gluten-free as well. Okay, all right, that's looking pretty good. So we'll go ahead and add this egg in there. One large egg. Make sure I don't get the shell in the mix. So I'm gonna have a crunchy cookie. So you just wanna mix that in, get a nice even uh, consistency. Okay, we've got our mixture uh, fully mixed and we've got the consistency that we want. All right, Matt, what do we do now? All right, so we have a cookie sheet um, lined with parchment paper. And now let's just go ahead and come in here for some, with some dough. So what? Let's get uh, another spoon. Yeah, you want another spoon? What I like to do is just roll them up in my hands like this. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I know, it's kind of weird, but um, I got clean hands, so okay. I just try to I don't know, it's quick, it's easy. You wanna have some extra space. I like to make them all nice and round. There's a dozen. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven. You wanna watch them, you look, wait until they're golden brown. And then you take them out and here's the key. You wanna let them sit. They will be very crumbly at first. So you wanna let them sit for a little while. They'll, they'll, they'll firm up as they cool down. All right, our keto shortbread cookies are done. Turned out fantastic, we wound up baking them for about 20 to 25 minutes. You'll know they're done when they're nice and golden brown around the edges. Make sure to check out my brother Jared's YouTube channel, Live True with JT. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find it. A lot of cool personal development type videos that you can find there. Definitely check that out. These cookies are super easy to make. If we can make it, you, you can, can make it. it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining us. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for us to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Grab that one.